ऑपरेशन ए आई जे आई टी वेलकम टू सेशन नंबर फाइव ऑफ थियरी ऑफ एरर स्टूडेंट इन दिस सेशन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल वैल्यू ऑफ द क्वान्टिटी स्टूडेंट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन अ प्रीवियस सेशन वॉट इज अ मोस्ट प्रोबेबल वैल्यू बट आई हैव रिपीट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मोस्ट प्रोबेबल वैल्यू एस डिफाइन अलियर द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल वैल्यू ऑफ क्वान्टिटी is the value which has more chance be of being true than any other value it can be found when the quantity is measured a number of times so most probable value means that has more chance of being the true value of other value compared to the other value it can be found when the quantity is measured student a number of times i have already given example in a previous session here in this session you have find how to find the most probable value a different case arise because a different type of observation you have to take on and different type of field condition are there so in a practice the following case arise of which the most probable value or which the most probable value may be required to be determined so here the case number 1 is direct observation of equal weight second case direct observation of unequal weight third indirect observation involving the unknown of equal weight fourth indirect observation involving unknown of unequal weight and last is the observation equation combination by or uh, by condition equation so first i have explained what is a direct observation and indirect observation i have already explained in a uh, session number 2 of theory of error technical definition i have explained already but i have repeat this term because here uh, understand of this definition then you have find the uh, most probable value so first direct observation a direct observation is the one of made directly on the quantity being the determined you know that when observer take the distance between uh, two points like a and b and line of distance between ab is 10 meter using the measure that this distance using the chain or tap or chain so this is called as a direct observation but value of quantity derived indirectly from the direct observation i have uh, already given an example when you find the angle of triangulation station but some obstruction are there so we have uh, take a satellite station or extra station to find the triangulation station so using the angle of satellite station and this value uh, is using for the finding the triangular substitution so the value of quantity derived indirectly from direct observation is called the indirect observation now here after the understanding the concept of direct and indirect observation now first case you know that direct observation of equal weight so direct observation you know that but now uh, next is the equal weight here you know that this angle are measured by observer one time because you know that what is the weight so weight is a indicate the number and weight is directly proportional to how many times quantity is measured so here 40 degree 30 minute 20 second is weight one means this quantity are measured by one time by one observer now second observer have to find same angle and angle is 40 degree 30 minute 10 second and its weight one similar that third observer i find the angle is 40 degree 30 minute 15 second and its weight one because three observer have find the angle only one time so this is called as a equal weight here weight is a same now how to find the uh, most probable value so the most probable value of the directly observed quantity because it is a direct observation of observation of equal weight here weight is equal so arithmetical mean of the observer So we have find the most probable value. So directly, uh, I have assumed that this is the x1 value, x2 value, and x3 value, and weight is the x. So here, thus in x1, x2, and x3, and up to x n, we observe value of a quantity, and weight is the x. So the x uh, equal weight and x be the most probable value. So how to find the x? So you know that you have find the arithmetical mean. So x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to x n divided by n n equal to number of observation. So you find the uh, most probable value. So you have find 
at home uh, this is an exercise to have find the uh, most probable now second thing direct observation of inequality student you know that first you have decide uh, direct observation i have already know known about this but here here the unequal way so here the angle is find by one time so is weight one here second observer angle is found by the two times so is weight two and third observer finds the uh, angle is three times so is weight three so this is the example of based on the unequal way now how to find the most probable value so the most probable value of the directly observed quantity of observation of unequal way is the weighted arithmetical mean of the observation so you have take as the weighted arithmetical mean not directly arithmetical mean so here if x1 x2 x3 up to xn be observed value of quantity and w1 w2 w3 up to wn is weight be their weight so let x to be most over value of the quantity should be fine so you have first take a uh, arithmetical mean weighted arithmetical mean so first you have find the x so x equal to w1 into x1 so x1 is the value w1 is the weight plus w2 plus x2 up to wn divided by into x divided by sum of individual weight so w1 plus w2 up to wn so you have find the most probable value of this formula so here second example also you have work at home and find try to find the most probable value here value is 40 degree 30 minute and 20 second and weight is 1 so find the most probable value of this here taking the weighted arithmetical mean value into weight plus value into weight divided by sum of individual weight now third is indirect observation here uh, the observation is indirect and involving the unknown of equal weight so first in this type of case student you have cannot be directly find the weighted arithmetical or arithmetical mean you, here you have find the most probable value by the normal equation so in this case the most probable value of the unknown are generally found by the method of normal equation so the normal equation multiplying the equation by the coefficient of unknown and add that result i have explained first i have explained example then i have uh, explained definition so first example is given find the most probable value of angle a from the following observation equation so first take uh, given observation angle of a 2a and 6a here first you have decide uh, this is a direct observation or indirect observation so first here the angle is multiplied by some coefficient so you have considered the indirect observation so this example based on indirect observation now you have decide uh, this is a equal weight example or unequal weight example so here weight is not given so it is it is the based on on equal weight example but when weight is given here different weight is given so it is called the unequal weight example here weight is given but here weight are uh, given a similar or equally so it is called the based on example of unequal weight so first i have repeat this term first you decide the uh, this is a direct observation or indirect observation so here indirect it was multiply with some coefficient now we have decide equal weight example or unequal weight example so here this is a equal weight example because weight is not given now we have find the most probable value of a so first you have make the normal equation so how to uh, find the normal equation so first a normal equation is the one which is formed by multiplying this equation by the coefficient so first here uh, coefficient is given first equation coefficient is 1 second is 2 and third is 6 So you multiply both the side of coefficient. So here multiply by by one. Second equation multiply by by two, and third equation multiply by the six both side. Now next slide is the after the multiplying by the coefficient, then adding the equation. Thus, this is called the normal equation. So here you have add this term. So so one plus four a plus thirty six a. So answer is forty one a. Equal to two four seven three degree forty seven minute fifty five second. So divided by forty one. So answer is sixty degree twenty minute eleven point fifty nine second. So this is the most probable value of angle of.
so i have repeat the definition of normal equation first you have the equation multiplied by the their coefficient unknown and at the reason so is called the indirect observation involving the unknown or equal to now case number 4 in this case the most probable value of the unknown and generally found by the normal equation similar but here first you decide uh, direct or indirect observation so here multiply by the constant so is a indirect observation example but here un, uh, weight is unequal so this is in this case you have or in this example you have uh, take a case number 4 because here unequal now first find the most probable value of the angle a so and a is a given weight is given so first to form the normal equation you know that here coefficient is 1 in a first equation and second equation coefficient is 3 so first you have multiply by by the uh, coefficient in a both side so here 1 into a and 1 into 3 30 degree 28 uh, minute 40 second now here weight is 2 in a first equation so also you have uh, multiply by the weight both side here only uh, coefficient is multiplied by but here in case number 4 you have multiplied by the weight in a both side similarly here 3 is a coefficient so uh, multiply by by 3 in a both side and weight 3 is given so multiply by by 3 now you have add them you know that the normal equation definition here first multiply the equation by their coefficient and unknown and add the reason so here you have add the result and you have find that try to find the a equal to 30 degree 28 minute 38.45 second so these are based on example indirect observation involving unknown or equal to now first second case is a direct observation uh, with equal and or unequal weight and third and fourth fourth case indirect observation with equal or unequal case uh, weight now case number 5 student observation equation combination by or accompanied by condition equation first i will uh, tell student what is the observation equation and what is the condition equation condition equation is the easy like example you are you know that in a triangle the angle, summation of angle a plus b plus c equal to 180 degree so b is depending upon the a c is depending upon the uh, b and a So it's called the condition equation. Second example: theta one plus theta two plus theta three plus theta four equal to 360 degree in a closed tower. So it is type of the condition equation. But when a plus b plus c equal to 179 degree, means you have uh, observed the value on a field and try to find the a plus b plus c. So this is called the observation equation because the uh, data is given from the observer. so the second example theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 equal to 259 degree or uh, 359 degree so is called as a observation equation now when the condition and uh, observation equation are both uh, or is combination so we have find the most probable value by three methods so first method is the normal equation second is the method of difference and third is a method of correlation but in particular session i will explain normal equation and in a gtu particularly uh, examples are asked about the uh, normal equation so i have only take a normal equation method so first you know that normal equation i have already explained in a previous slide now i have taken one example like Find the most probable value of angle AB and from uh, following C of the triangle ABC. A equal to 50, 52 degree 24 minute 30 second and B equal to 64 06 20 second and C equal to 63 degree 30 minute 02 second. Now, first in this case normal equation you have avoid the condition equation. I have explained. First you have find the A plus B plus C equal to 180 degree. So C equal to 180 minus A plus B. So A plus B equal to 180 minus C. So C is taken from the observer. So you know that what is the value of C? 60 degree 30 minutes 02 second. But here uh, uh, answer is A plus B equal to 116 degree 29 minutes 58 second. But here 
you have got it if find the value so c equal to 180 minus a plus b you have take a condition so your answer is c equal to 63 degree 29 minute 10 second so here you have taken the 63 30 02 because here given by observer so you have taken the observation equation so here i have wrong this uh, c value is not used in this equation because clearly right in a normal equation avoiding the condition equation means a plus b plus c equal to 180 degree is a condition equation so you have to be avoid and use the observation equation so here 63 degree 30 minute 02 second is the observed value so we use this equation so now observation equation are there a equal to 52 24 minute 30 second already given now a b is given now we you will find the a plus b so equation 1 2 and 3 is get now try to find the correct value of a b and c so first you have find the normal equation so you know that first you have taken the first and three equation and second you have taken the two and three equation so a a plus b b and a plus b so equation number 1 and 3 to be solved and 2 and 3 to be solved now first you have make the normal equation so here coefficient is 1 so multiply by by 1 in both side because here this is a based on case number 3 because no weight is given so equal and this is a indirect observation because this two quantities are there so both quantity coefficient is 1 so you have multiply by by the 1 So 2a plus b equal to add of them the value similar that you have find the normal equation number five. So four number and five number is the normal equation form. Now so try to solve this equation and find the correct value a, b, and c. So p is equal to 64 degrees 6 minute 2.67 second. Actually value b is a 64.0620 second. It is a not correct. It is a correct value. Similar to you find the a and then using the correct value or condition equation 180 degree minus a plus b so you find the correct value of c so c is a 63 degree 29 minute 44.67 second so here the most important first thing is the you not use the condition equation you have used the only observation equation and uh, not uh, make the normal equation and then find the correct value of a b and c so in this video student i have covered determination of uh, most probable value a different type of case and how to find the most probable value uh, from the formula or uh, some uh, cases so thank you so much for watching this